Hello, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to uh, create a model in FreeCAD and move it over to for uh, for your 3D model in KiCad if if you're so inclined. So I have pictured here. I have a, uh, a a model I made in in FreeCAD, and I've moved that over to here in uh, for KiCad, and it's very very simple. It's basically just exporting as an XML or, or um, a WRL, um, and that's what I did in this case. I think you can also do it as a step file, but I prefer the WRL. Um, so let's get started, and I'll show you how I did this. Let me get rid of my little arrow overlay here, and let me bring up bring FreeCAD up to full screen. So I have a basic object here. It's nothing nothing impressive. It's um, you know, just a, uh, a box, and it's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And actually, let me show you that to prove it. So this sketch is it's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, and it's important later, because there's something that I don't understand, and if you know the answer to this, feel free. And, you know, so I just, I built up a, a simple sketch. It has a, uh, you know, a cutout for this dial, and then the dial, and then I very happily used my arrow from, um, the sketcher shapes which is right here so I didn't have to you know go through that whole sketch process so it is useful in rare circumstances so anyway um, uh, you know so that's that's basically you know the model nothing not nothing complicated you know I these are uh, 2.54 from each other and five crossed what and etc so that's you know sort of my that's basically the potentiometer that I use so here's the here's the gold. It's nothing special or even hard. So basically, I just exported it as a WRL. So this you know this is basically a quick tip, and I actually did I did a WRL here, and I also did it stepped with colors because I didn't know which ones would be useful, and I just saved that to my document folder. So you don't you don't even have to save it specifically. So now let's get rid of that. So how do you bring that in? Well, you can just click on the component. So right here I have um, the footprint for my uh, potentiometer. And let's, so I double click that and you can see, normally you'll get this uh, dialog with the three tabs. I'm gonna pick the 3D models and you can see I already have it here. So let's, uh, let's garbage can that and we'll do it over again. So I'm just gonna do an add. So it has the model for the, um, for the, uh, circuit board piece for the footprint, but it doesn't have a 3D model. So I didn't add and now I can just go use the folder to go find it. So I'm going to go to my documents. Hopefully I'm not showing you anything uh, sensitive here, which I probably am. And uh, I need to pick potentiometer. Down, down, down. I got a lot of crap. <laughs> so I pick potentiometer. And I spelled it wrong first. And let's see if I got it spelled right. I spelled it patentiometer. I'll just use that one. That's fine. And you'll see um, that it's too big. Can even preview it. It's just too big. So you can see um, there's the board right there. So I don't know why, because uh, if I measure this in uh, KiCad, you'll see. Let me. Uh, and we'll go. We'll go back and measure it. To show you that this is actually 10, 10 this uh, footprint is 10 millimeters. So what you can do is you can actually select your model. So with it selected up here, you can scale it. So I'm just going to scale this to 0. 0.5, and for for all the different for all the different um, axes, and then you see that it's it's around the right size now. Or well, oh, actually, I think it was 0. 0.4. So I don't know what the dealio with uh, with the dimensions are in a WRL. Maybe I don't. Oh, you know, probably what it. I really don't know to be honest with you. I don't know why the WRL doesn't store the dimensions correctly, but it's probably something to do with like agnostic units or something like that. So you also need to see. I'll have to rotate it. Um, I'm gonna rotate it around the Z axis. And I think what do I need to do? Yeah, I had to do it negative, and then I have to offset it, and I think I just offset it in the Y. And that's it, that's all I had to do. So I realized a couple of things, I made these too giant and uh, and too long, so I'll, I'll be redoing that. So now that I've done that, so I've just added it, I'm going to do a 3D viewer of it, 
and you can see now we've got our we've got our uh, KiCad model or FreeCAD model in our KiCad drawing. So it's very easy to do, and it really classes up your document. So next, I'm going to do a battery. See see how giant these are? Made them way too big. So next time, I'm going to do a battery holder. This is just a little blinky thing that I hope to, you know, a a, a learn learn to solder blinky that I hope to. Uh, try to sell, but I probably won't be able to because there's probably hundreds of them out there or thousands. Anyway, have a great day. I hope this uh, helps you out a little bit and I'll see you next time.